we're going to work offensive techniques first. First combination is a very simple. What's the fastest technique hand combination that we have? A jab, right? You come down here, go straight up, boom. It's very hard to counter, and it's also the quickest technique we have. What's a good strong technique after that? For me, it's a side kick. So, what's our first combination? Jab into a side kick. Now watch, I'm going to throw you from the side first. This is my stance. You can either be here, but I'll use my particular stance. Remember, using my stuff this time. From here, I throw the jab. Boom. My shoulder's protected. Jab. My rear leg comes up from this position now. This hand comes back to protect. Shoulder comes up. Knee comes up. Side kick out. Back and down. Coming at the camera. From here, jab. Up. Side kick. And down. Now with a little bit of speed. One more. Okay, now working a jab into a side kick, we're going to create that opening. My partner takes his stance. Now I have to get him somehow to raise this elbow. So I throw the jab. Son of a gun, look at that. Cool. So the next time when I do it, he's not going to see this rear leg drag out. I step from this position and back down. From here, slowly watch. Lean into the jab. See where the hands and the elbows come? Slide up. He's not going to see this. I'm sideways. Side kick in. Push him away and down. Nice quick movement. Again. Boom. Wait, now, don't just throw one jab. Set it up. See how he reacts. Boom. Boom. And work the movement. One more time. Now watch what happens. You're moving around. Throwing a jab. See how the hands right? Here. had the jab into the sidekick. How do I get him to react to the jab? I throw the jab. How do I get him to react to the sidekick? I throw the sidekick. So the movement this time is a sidekick into the jab. I slide up, throw the sidekick a couple times, right? Here. Next time, I knee up, step down, and just jab. And down. Slowly again, slide up, knee up to throw the sidekick, step down, and jab. And back. Now what we're going to do is we want him to drop those guards, right? My partner takes his stance, I slide up to the kick, and he blocks the side kick. But watch what he does with the elbows. Here, the hands come down. Look at the head. So the next time all we're going to do is and throw the jab. Again, from this position here. The main thing to do is not to throw the kick. Step up like you're going to, then jab. And back. Stick in a little quicker. And finish. Now for the mainstay of all boxing techniques. The jab into the right cross or the straight right hand. Very simply, you're here moving around. Jab, right hand. Jab sets up the technique. The right cross comes over and comes right back. Again, boom, boom, and finish. Boom, boom, and finish. Cross, cross, and finish. Boom, boom, and finish. Okay, real quick. technique now. I throw the jab here. So he has to block it here. See, now I have a straight line movement with the straight right hand of the right cross. So we jab over and right, boom, boom, bang, and there it is. Throw the jab, jab, bang, right hand, right hand. A little quicker. Moving around. Don't just throw one jab, but set it up. And in. And in. And what we're going to do now is add the left hook to the jab, straight right hand, or right cross. So it looks like this. From here, jab, right hand. Now watch the left. Hook. Boom, boom, hook. 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 Nice and quick. Create the opening. Still creating the opening. Squatting. And finish. Okay, now we're going to set this up. Watch what happens. I throw the jab. See how he moved his hand to defend against it? Jab, right hand. Now you can see the right side of his face is open. That's where the hook comes through. So I'm creating an opening with both hand techniques. Boom, here. So I'm going, boom, boom, bang, and then hook. From here, bam, 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 and the hook. You can take it to the body. Boom, boom, 
Hook to the bottom. Here. Forward to the head. From here. A little quicker in combination. And hit. Remember, the hook comes back to you. Don't make it a wild swing. Boom, boom, boom. And it comes back. If you've got really quick hands or a very good jab, this technique works real well for you. All you're going to do now is throw the jab, throw the jab, throw the jab, just cock it now into the hook. Jab, hook. Jab, hook. Very simply, you make him pull his hands forward, boom, and you come around him with the hook. Bam, hook. Okay, bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, boom. Boom, boom. What we want our opponents to do now is move our hands forward. So when I jab here, and he blocks, let's say, with his right hand, if you notice, the right side of his face now is not protected. So that's when I'll jab here, come around with a hook. Very simply, jab, low, and then hook. Again, moving, 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 and hook. Come in here. Jab, hook. When this hand comes forward to defend, and this comes back, it'll stay there just for a second, then you come around. Jab, hook. Then you always come back with the right hand. And in. Okay, now we've been working the jab, so we'll continue working the jab. By now, our opponent will probably move back as we slide in for the jab. So if I'm moving and jabbing and he's backing up a little bit, I jab, slide up, real simple little roundhouse kick to the tummy. So it's jab, jab, kick, and roundhouse kick. From here, jab, jab, kick, and in. Now we're trying to get our opponent again to raise his arms. How do we do that? We jab. See how the hands come up? Boom. From in. So real snappy quick. I jab, jab, slide up, and throw the roundhouse kick. The kick has to come right after the jab. Don't do this. Because he's got his hands back to defend. This should be boom, boom. That quick. So it's from here, boom. And in. Again. And in. Can also be thrown to the head. Okay. And in. Very simple technique. Now, roundhouse kick to the tummy, straight right hand or right cross following it. Very simply, slide up, knee up, roundhouse kick to the stomach. As you step down, the right cross comes around and back. If you want to, you can slide up, throw the roundhouse kick, right cross, then come back with the hook. Remember, all these work in great unison together. One more time, watch. Slide up, kick, punch, hook. Or, now we can't just throw this technique and hope for the best. Remember, never leave yourself open. So create that opening. My partner takes his stance. What I'll do, first of all, I'll just pop it to see how he defends. See how he blocked with his elbows? I'll do it again, boom. Next time, now I'll go, and punch it. Or I'll throw it and then come across. Basically, kick, punch, hook. From here. Kick, punch, hook. From here. Kick, punch, hook. And it. Now we're going to do some faking techniques. My best technique is the roundhouse kick, so I'm going to use that to fake. It's also my quickest, so I make you react to the first one, which isn't really a first one, which leaves the second one into an opening, I hope. So from here, what I do very simply, I move around, slide up with a low roundhouse kick to the tummy area. Here. Next time I slide in, fake it, throw the kick high. All I do is make you think low. Here. And then high. One more time. Moving around, fake, and then high. Once more, fake, and then the kick. Moving around, Kick. And throw in the kick. What we're going to do now is set that roundhouse kick up for the roundhouse kick high. My partner takes his stance. I want to get him to, to block low. Throw the kick in. See what he does with his right hand. Watch again. Now he has to drop that. The next time, I just and then work the kick up. Make him think low. And then work the kick up high. Again. And then kick. Keep block. Here. And throw the kick. And okay, now we're going to use the jab one more time. 
The jab is the quickest technique, so we're making the, our opponent defend against him. We're jabbing to the face. Chances are to put his hands up and lean his head back. He's got to lean his head back a little bit or move it to the side. If he moves it to the side, we want him to move it to that side because what we're going to throw is a hook kick. Jab into the hook kick. And then what happens if he gets out of the way of the hook kick? From here, we jab, 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 slide up sideways now. The knee comes up and the hook kick comes through and down. So it's basically from here, jabbing, jabbing, and the hook kick. What happens if he leans out of the way of the hook kick? Jab, jab, slide up. Hook kick comes through, then come back with the roundhouse kick. So it's from here, jab, roundhouse kick. From here, jab, jab, roundhouse kick, and in. Okay, now, watch what happens when I jab. See how the head goes back a little bit, and the hands come forward, and the head goes back. So what I do is I'm going to slide up here, bring the leg up, and hook. From here, jab, here, and hook kick in. From here, jab, hook, and in. What happens if I miss? Or what happens if he ducks out of the way? Jab, hook kick, come back into the roundhouse kick. So it's from here, jab, big, here, and in. Jab, big, here, and in. This is my first really truly faking technique that I like to do. It's a fake hook kick into a roundhouse kick. Those of you who bought my first tape on kicking, will be familiar with this. All I'm going to simply do is I move around here. I slide up, I just bring the leg out here. So you think it's a hook kick, or at least something coming to this side. All I do is I slide up, swing the leg up, fold it, and then the roundhouse kick out, and then down. So basically, this is what it looks like. trying to do now is get him to think what's coming on this side. So I step, I slide it. See how this hand move? That's what I want. That's what you want. Because he's thinking that side. And then there's the kick. There's the kick. I fake here. There it is. Fold. There's the kick. And down. So I move around. Maybe move the hands a little bit. Fake. And there's the kick. Watch the fake. There's the kick. There's the kick. Let the knee work for you. And there's the kick. One of the best techniques I like for in close fighting is very simply a low left hook, a high left hook into a hook kick. We're here, we're in close. Not distance, but in close. The left hook low, the left hook high. Notice how I've turned my hips? There's the hook kick. So from here, boom, boom, and there's the hook. The low one brings his elbows down. The high one hits him in the head or in the glove. His head will move over, and there's the hook kick. And down. Slowly, a little quickly. Boom, boom, boom. Again. And in. Slowly, a little quickly. Boom, boom, boom. Again. And in. Okay, on this particular movement, you're in close. Not here. Because he can hit me with either hand or the bell hook, right? So I want to, either when I'm moving, step over to the side. Hook to the body. Here. Here. See what happens to the head when I hit high? Even if it protects it with the glove, boom, boom, the head moves. Then what happens? Wham, wham. I've already turned. There's the hook kick. And down. A little quicker. From here. And in. Again. And in. Once more, and in. On this particular movement, you're making your opponent seem like you're off balance, or at least make him think that way. All I'm going to do is slide up and throw a roundhouse kick face high and make it look like I lose my balance. What's their first movement to try to do? Try to punch you in the head. Watch my movement. I slide up, kick, and do this. My shoulder's protecting me. He sees the punch, or the kick even. As he moves in to throw it, lean back, and the hook kick. So it's from here, slide up, fake, look off balance, and then there's the hook kick. Once more, slide up, kick, lose my balance, and then there's the hook kick, and down. On this particular movement, distancing is very important. I don't want him to get too close to me when I try to counter him. So we're moving around, I throw the roundhouse kick to his head. He blocks it, and I lose off balance. That's his first movement, but you see where his head is. Look at his head. Look, right about there. 
Okay, we're working. I throw the kick. There's the kick. I throw the first kick. He blocks. And then there's a counter. It comes off the floor. I slide up. Kick. Step down. See how my toes my feet are close together? He comes in. There's the counter. One more time. We're here. Kick. And then there's a counter. Once more. this one is good, strong body shots. Creating the opening because when I work to his ribs, he's got to protect those ribs with his elbows, right? Then from here, you come here nice and slowly, hook, hook. See how his elbows are spread a little bit apart? Here, boom, boom. Right here, uppercut. See where the left hook is? Right through. So from here, let's just say throw four left, throw, throw hooking techniques. One, two, three, four, one, two. There's the movement. Real quick, right here. Okay, the most important thing is get those elbows down. Here, here, here. See where the right hand is? Right here, uppercut, right? Even if it doesn't hit, he's got to pull the head back. From here, hook comes over. Remember, hook comes over from here and pull it to you. Most importantly, pull that hook to you. Don't swing it or you hit up here. We want damaging shots. So from here, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, upper cut, and hook. What we're going to work on this for now is a timing drill. I have to time his punches coming in. Sometimes when you're working full contact, you're going to get stuck in a corner. When he's against you like this, it's very difficult for you to go anywhere. The last thing he's expecting you to do is to kick him in the head. And that's what I want you to do. He's coming in now, it's timing now. He'll work the kicks real, the punches real slow. So, so I keep the hands in for protect. I protect him from here. I protect him. Notice how he's throwing the right hand. What happens when he throws the right hand? Boom, right there. How this turns. Right about now, I'll straighten out right here. And I'll turn automatically. Now he can't reach me with either thing because my shoulder's protecting him. From here then, all I do is bring the leg up and hook him through. The last thing, hopefully, he's expecting. Okay, we're here. He's working me. Boom, boom, boom. There's the kick. All you do is push him back a little bit. And in. The most often way that people try to counter me or try to beat me is to get inside my legs. Fine, here I am, get inside my legs. Number one, it's difficult to get inside my legs, but some people have done it. What happens is they get in here, and now they're ready to go. Now, this is my counter movement. All I'm going to do now is he's going to flirt. Bam, bam, bam. See, watch what happens. When he throws that right hand out, that means it's busy. When he throws it, that's when I counter. Boom. See, I got my eyes open. Here, throw it. Now, see the right hand coming out? Bam. Right there it is. When this hand comes out, here, there's nothing there. There's nothing on that chin. So I watch for that right hand to come out. Here, bam, right there it is. Because all I do now is when he throws it, turn. Because that's just taking everything away. So it's from here he flurries. Right there's a the movement. And if I want to, the kick comes right afterwards.